banking sector remains in focus. Ashutosh Khajuria, President Treasury at Federal Bank is with us. Uh, uh, Ms. Khajuria, hi, good afternoon. Uh, how much of uh, the MSF window are you good using up. currently? And, uh, uh, you know, what will be the impact on your cost of funds because of this cut that we have seen in MSF rates overnight? See, that varies. There is no fixed number as such because, uh, I mean, MSF is there to meet the uh, frictional liquidity conditions or so because it has replaced the LAF once LAF has been capped at, capped at uh, say, 0.5% of NDTL of individual banks. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes you don't go to MSF window at all. At times you go there, but I think uh, during middle of the month, September, you know, when advanced tax payments were there, about 65 to 70,000 crores had gone out of uh, system and uh, it was just parked with Reserve Bank of India and credit balances of Government of India. I think system was quite short of it and uh, so were most of the banks including our bank. Uh, uh, a big relief came when the first cut was uh, introduced, uh, you know, I mean, uh, in a calibrated manner, Reserve Bank first brought it down by 75 basis points and in second tranche it has further brought it down by 50 basis points yesterday. It's a welcome move because the days you you go for MSF drawing, uh, it does uh, give you a, you know, an, a relief uh, to that extent. Hmm. I think uh, the impact would be more on those banks who were dependent more on bulk funds, uh, the, the CDs and, uh, you know, I mean, bulk deposits and all uh, because they had been using MSF window more often than others. Okay, Mr. Khajuria, just hold that thought. We have some news coming out from the Cabinet meet, which is flashing in your screen, where the CCEA has cleared the premium rescheduling of road projects. Remember that the Cabinet was likely to consider rescheduling of payments by GMR, GVK, amongst 23 other uh, infra companies. So that is the reason why you were seeing GVK power and infra higher by around 8 odd percent. So now, um, actually come off the day's high, it's up yeah. around 4 odd percent. Maybe that's because of the markets, but we'll try and get more actually, details. Let's, let's see the infra chart of IRB as well, IRB infra, because uh, that's, that's the one which normally gets very p positively correlated to that. Uh, we see the intraday chart of IRB, if there's been any reaction uh, purely based on that news, uh, that would be interesting. As of now, the stock is uh, still holding about a percent gain, but yeah. uh, if you see the intraday chart, uh, it's cooled off quite a bit. Absolutely. So, as of now, we do understand that they have, uh, they have in principle, approved uh, the premium rescheduling of road projects. So, we'll get you more details on that. But there is no drastic reaction which is coming into the stock prices. In fact, GVK Power and Infra, like Anuj pointed out, is off the day's high. But um, uh, Mr. Khajuria just wanted to point out how much of an easing have you seen or will you see in short term rates because of the MSF cut now by 50 basis points? See, every calendar quarter end you have this cycle where on 15th the money is uh, drawn out from the system and then government takes about 2 to 3 weeks. So within 14 to 20 days you get the money back when government starts spending. And the same thing has happened. Now we are in the first week of October. Today being, uh, you know, I mean, uh, yesterday was the day when, uh, you know, this excise payment, CBEC payments are required on 7th of uh, the month or so. So you had your excise and uh, services tax being paid and all. So there would have been some draw again. Uh, but normally, you know, the big chunk comes on 15th uh, se September, 15th December and also on 15th of March because the first tranche on 15th June is smaller one. It's only 15% of your projected tax outflow. Uh, these two, September and December ones are larger one, 30% each. So as a result of that, there was uh, a liquidity crunch and unfortunately this year 15th fell on Sunday. So on 14th being Saturday, not a full-fledged money market uh, operations are there on that day. You have your uh, left window closed, you have your mm. MSF closed and all. So on 14th September, a uh, call money ra uh, rate went, went through the roof and uh, they did breach 55% also. But uh, fortunately, I think RBA came out with uh, MSF window on that day and it cooled the market. So from 55 watt percent, it went down to its normal levels. But then when it comes down by MSF rate itself is cut by 50 basis points, certainly brings cheers to the market and it's reflected in bond markets. You see, you know, 10 years sure. reporting below 850 and That's all. So I think, I think system is feeling, feeling the relief. Okay. So for the bank in particular, how is credit growth uh, ahead? of the festive season anticipated to be 
and could you pass on any relief in terms of maybe lending rate cuts uh, to uh, your customers? Uh, well, we are more uh, at a median of the system as a whole. So, we are neither very aggressive on the credit growth side nor are we lagging behind, behind or so. So, mm -hmm. we are on at the, you know, I mean, the, the average uh, representative rate of all scheduled commercial banks. As regards passing on the relief, I would simply say we have not jacked up our base rate for quite some time. So, mm -hmm. it's at 1045 or so. When, you know, liquidity was very tight, uh, there were a couple of banks who did raise their base rates. We didn't do that. So, I think uh, now it evens out. We'll watch the market. We'll see how others, our competitors are uh, faring. I think um, by keeping it at, uh, you know, 1045, we are quite close to the market median there also. It may not be as aggressive as maybe the largest bank. Can, uh, so Sure. Mr. Khajuri, what about uh, corporate loans? Because uh, last quarter you had some stress in your uh, corporate uh, balance sheet. Uh, uh, how's that part shaped out over the last three months or so? See, I wouldn't be able to uh, say anything on that because this is the, uh, you know, closure period or so because we have yet to come out, uh, you know, with our results for H1, Q2 and H1. Uh, but I think uh, overall it's better than Q1, I can simply say that. Okay. Um, what about uh, the FCNR deposit scheme? The last time we spoke to the management of Federal Bank, they said there is some, uh, some amount of clarity which is needed. Um, you know, in terms of inflows coming in quite easily. Is that clarity already done with and how are inflows looking like for the bank in particular? Yeah, clarity uh, has come out, you know, with through FAQs and through further, you know, I mean, clarifications from RBI and all that. So, there is, uh, I think that part is okay. But what I would like to say is there are two types of banks. One who have their presence overseas, MNC banks and all wherein uh, it's more of a gearing, more of a leverage, uh, uh, which results in, you know, chunky funds, bulk funds coming into uh, the country. And there are other banks who have their regular base of uh, depositors and all, wherein you get uh, smaller pieces or multiple pieces when, whenever any, you know, attractive scheme is launched, they do participate in it. But you won't find uh, that type of, uh, you know, I mean, uh, bulk or lump coming in, uh, coming in through those banks. Because we are, we are a regular, uh, you know, I mean, player in that market, and uh, with, with a wider customer base and all that. So I think such schemes mainly at times, you know, whether it was IDB in 92, 93, 92, when uh, India development bonds were launched. Then in 1998 we had RIB, resurgent India uh, bonds. Then 2000 we had India millennium deposits, IMD and all. Right. Like that, you know, when he, whenever such schemes are launched, you have, you know, a lot of leverage happening and chunky funds come into the country. All right, sir. Thank you very much for joining in. So that's the view coming in on Federal Bank.